This video provides information relating to starting orthodontic treatment, whether it is with fixed or removable appliances. Throughout the treatment, you need to have really good brushing. When the gums are healthy, they're pink in color and they don't bleed. However, with poor brushing, the gums go red and they stop bleeding. Poor brushing with sugar left on the teeth can leave permanent white marks when the braces are removed. You could use an electric or a manual toothbrush to clean around the brace. Companies like Oral-B make special electric toothbrush heads for braces under the name of OrthoCare Essentials and you can find these online. Alternatively, there's also manual toothbrushes with a smaller bottle brush end. If you don't find these, you can use interdental brushes which are widely available in the shops. Use a medium size like a yellow color to clean in the same way as the same bottle brush end of the toothbrush. To clean around the brace, hold your toothbrush over the top of the brace clean over it, clean underneath it where the gum lies, and also clean above the brace, doing the same all the way to the back. You need to have a good look to make sure there's no food left behind. This is a quick demonstration. You need to be spending more time at home. Brush the biting surface of the teeth, the inside of the teeth, also the back of the front teeth. Use a smaller bottle brush end to clean under the wire where it crosses in between the teeth. You can use one of these interdental brushes, for example, the yellow color to clean under the wire in the same way. You can still floss, but floss would get stopped by the wire at some stage in the middle of the gap. Even that it gets stopped the floss would clean to some extent any food that may be there. If you want to floss all the way, you thread it under the wire first, then you can, this allows you to move it in between the teeth. You can use one of these smaller sized interdental brushes to push in between the teeth into the gaps for having them cleaned in the same way. If there's any sharp areas on the brace that are catching or bothering your lips, you can get wax from the reception. It comes in a box similar to this one. Take a small piece of the wax and make it round between your fingers. As you round it up, it goes soft. Then you can mold it around the sharp part of the brace. These waxes are reusable. So for example, if you're having something to eat, you can remove it, put it on the side of your dinner plate, and then put it back, back on the brace after you're finished. For anybody who has braces, we also recommend the use of a fluoride alcohol-free mouthwash. So if you go to the shops, make sure it's got fluoride inside it and it's alcohol-free. And the best time to use the mouthwash is at a different time to your brushing. For example, after your dinner when you're at home. Throughout your orthodontic treatment, you will be attending for appointments every four to eight weeks. But in that time, it's also important that you continue to see your general dentist for regular dental checkups. Having a good diet is very important to the success of orthodontic treatment. Um, the most damaging type of food to teeth is sugary snacks, fizzy drinks, chocolates, sweets. These are the most obvious ones. But also, you'll be surprised that a lot of the food that we buy in supermarkets these days contains hidden sugar. For example, when you buy a packet of crisps or a packet of um, sometimes a flavored yogurt, flavored water drinks, um, they contain glucose or other types of synthetic sugar that can be very damaging to the teeth. It's important that you try and stick to having a healthy diet, for example, fresh fruits and vegetables, um, water to drink. If you must, must, must have a flavored drink, then we will recommend having diluted sugar-free squash. If you have any sugary snacks, any snacks during the day, try and avoid them between the meals, just stick to having them during the meal times with your lunch or with your dinner. Good brushing is very important. Um, we would like you to brush at least every day, twice a day. Um, the fluoride toothpaste that you use needs to contain at least 1,350 parts per million fluoride for children over, for children and adults over age of seven years. Um, it's a good idea as well to use a fluoride mouthwash Fluoride mouthwash needs to be used at a different time to your brushing to have the most effect. So, for example, if you're 
brushing your teeth first thing in the morning and last thing before you go to bed at night, the fluoride mouthwash, you can use it at some stage during the day. The teeth with braces on them can be cleaned using an electric or a manual toothbrush and there is no evidence to show one is better than the other. For manual toothbrushes, you would want to get a medium strength toothbrush from the shops and I would personally recommend Oral-B toothbrushes for both the manual and electric types. Oral-B also manufactures special electric toothbrush heads for braces. You may be able to find these online or you could also ask the reception if we have them in stock. If at any stage during your treatment your gums appear red or they start bleeding, don't get alarmed by this. It's just um, due to lack of brushing which can improve. What you need to do is just to ignore the bleeding and keep brushing very gently around the gum margins. Um, spend extra time each day. This bleeding will take about two to three weeks to stop. And after that, you need to maintain the good brushing for it not to come back.